so UK and the US will uh, invade uh, Israel that is uh, fairly easy to do since uh, Israel is relying uh, on uh, US support and uh, the Israel army by itself is not very strong they just uh, pretend to be strong but they are not strong and uh, even their technologies we all know it's not really functioning as what they are trying to show in the media in the public it's not true Uh, actually pro from the US perspective and strength Israel is very easy to take very easy so UK and Israel <coughs> um, will uh, with the support of other allies will uh, invade Israel and uh, will uh, we'll also cut that land and give some of it to the Palestinians now this will uh, affect um, justice and satisfaction in the sight of the Arab countries in the sight of the Muslims and uh, when uh, Israel is already a US state it will just take few weeks it will not take long we're gonna have, we're gonna hold uh, <clears throat> meetings we're gonna hold meetings uh, and uh, big meetings with the Muslim leaders with the leaders of the Arab countries we're gonna hold meetings, we're gonna hold uh, uh, uniting, we're gonna hold meetings uniting the US and the Arab world. We're gonna have discussions, we're gonna have uh, peace talk agreements, treaties, everything will be well, will run smoothly. as long as uh, you do what I'm saying Israel will be US state US controlled state and the Palestinians receive more lands and justice is uh, served and is seen globally via the social media by the media different uh, forms of uh, media and so US and the Arab world, the Muslims and the US and the UK will be united, will be one force. Uh, it will take uh, some months and effort, but uh, as the Lord God has said, it will be, it will happen. Also, we will unify all the Arab countries and all the Muslim countries in to one goal and uh, of course being in the position of power uh, to be uh, um, uh, to be led on, uh, on one mission uh, so the Lord God has showed to me God the Creator uh, God the Father or Allah in Arabic the wait someone calling me Sorry, I was in. I was interrupted. Someone called me, so I'll continue the recording. So, what the Lord God told to me, the one true God, the Father, written in the Holy Bible, the Creator, the alien God, which is also called Allah uh, in Arabic by the Muslim people. And so, what uh, the Lord God showed to me, uh, the unity of all Muslim countries. Uh, they, they can have uh, black flags with Arabic writings all of them are united and uh, 
after we're gonna proceed on a mission that God had showed to me. Uh, I don't keep this a secret. I'm just telling whatever God showed to me. There will be uh, India will be invaded. India will be invaded. Um, it has been said that India is a tough country and it's never been invaded in battle. This uh, what's history also. Uh, also Nepal has never been invaded is what I'm hearing but this time is different because this fight will not be about will not be about uh, expansion of lands or greed or to have more power this war the the meaning of this war the the goal is to remove the worship of stone and wood sculptures so this uh, war will be a service to Allah it, this will be a service to God the Father both law against worship of uh, idols wor against worship of stone and wood the sculptures are both be written very clearly in the Holy Bible and in the Quran so this will be a service for uh, the Lord God and this will be uh, all the Muslim nation will participate and on this war and so the whole army the army of the Lord God will be will cross uh, throughout the land by different means of transport and uh, we're gonna cross through the east going towards India through Pakistan and uh, this will create tension in the Chinese border of course the Chinese will increase the security on the border but they will not strike no they will just be cautious but they will not strike and they will increase security on the border but uh, uh, so the army of the Lord God which is uh, uh, mostly Muslim and Arab uh, nations Arab military Muslim Muslim nations will uh, will cross different countries through that land in Pakistan through the Indian border and so the US uh, what the the UK and US and allies will do firstly uh, of course the Indian whole country will be high alert the Indian leaders will alert all the military personnel we're gonna give the Indian Navy, they have new ships right now. Uh, they're, they're a bit big. They, we will give them a chance to evacuate their older ships to the nearest coast. Maybe we'll give them one day. If, uh, if they will, uh, if they will uh, follow or not, uh, uh, sorry, someone interrupted me again. So, we're gonna give the Indian uh, Navy personnel uh, to the Indian military Navy personnel, the officers and their uh, all the people uh, working in the ships, Navy ships, to evacuate. We're gonna give them one day. If they will. Uh, if they will listen or not, uh, we'll proceed to sink all the Indian Navy, all of their vessel, in uh, 30 minutes. The U.S. Army, U.S. Uh, military strength, now it's possible to sink all their Navy in 30 minutes. Uh, you, you know, you know, it's gonna happen. Where uh, I'm not, I don't, need, I don't need to say it, but you know that. That's the way it will happen. And then, of course, they will alert their air force, and so they will. We will cripple it. We will cripple all their. Uh, we will destroy all the airports, especially where the fighters can fly. We're gonna disable it. Of course, uh, we're gonna damage uh, whatever aircrafts we can damage. Of course, they will not fly. And uh, the, when the, the, the Navy is crippled, the Air Force is, is gone, 
and uh, at the, this point the Indian army will uh, all get ready and prepare there on the border with Pakistan with a large army all metals will fly in the air you know that but uh, we're gonna do a, a strategy which uh, I will not tell here that will uh, reduce the effect on the army of the Lord God there at the border of Pakistan and so our uh, the army of God which is UK, US and uh, all the Islam countries all the Muslim countries and their armies they will be equipped not only with uh, rifles or modern weapons but with hand handheld weapons because the reason for that the way that the Lord God showed to me uh, the things that will happen there's so much uh, people in India that there's a point that we will run out of bullets to fire there's so many people in, in India and their military is also a bit big and so all our fighters, warriors UK, US and all the Muslim countries we're gonna, they're gonna be ready with handheld weapons of course we're gonna have training before that because that's what the Lord God showed to me hand to hand combat will happen in the streets in the alleys, in the streets on the on the um, sorry to say in the slums and the poor corners of India it will all happen God showed this to me God showed this to me all the things that will happen and then uh, the Lord God showed to me India will be defeated India will capitulate and uh, US will be in full control of India we're gonna the Lord God showed to me change the education system will change white white people will control whole of India India and the education system will be changed that the government will be changed that the worship to make sure that the worship of stone and wood sculptures will not be will not be done again will not happen again in India and in any countries that we will going to take over or any countries that we will be invade invade in the name of the Lord God the Father in the name of Allah now of course uh, of course and there are other, the other things in the strategy of course the leadership of India will uh, uh, will, uh, will try to run away or will, will try to fly in their airplanes and go to other places but of course we're gonna uh, we're gonna do something we're gonna send an advance um, uh, advance uh, special unit uh, could be SEAL Team 6 or other secret advanced units that uh, uh, will make sure that we will take over the government very quickly and not uh, to reduce the to, to, to reduce the fighting the bloodshed so the Lord God has told this in advance and uh, in Africa so we're gonna take all the countries below China and we're gonna take whole of Africa the whole African continent we're gonna use it to produce all the food the supplies that we need the food we're gonna make Africa into a very very big farm to produce everything fruits vegetables meat other agricultures we're gonna Africa is gonna produce it we're gonna take over Africa and we're gonna assign officers to make sure everything that it will be successful the south of america south southern part of us that those countries there we're gonna we need to take over it remove all the 
just to remove the worship of of stone and wood sculptures but the Lord God is telling me not to mention that for now it's already like uh, the things I have said it's already uh, uh, big it's already a bit big work and so we're gonna discuss about the southern part of America on the coming time so I'm I was interrupted three times but um, I'm gonna edit the video and uh, I revealed to you I told to you whatever the Lord God has told me showed to me so I I already told you what to do I revealed to you whatever the Lord God has said what Allah has said in Arabic and uh, it's up to you now what to do but as I have told you, the consequences. The Lord God is telling me not to give you options. The Lord God is telling me that it, that you will do it, it will happen. The Lord God is telling me do not speak like that. Because the words of God are the, are um, cannot be changed. Cannot be changed. So I'm not allowed to say like an op optional things. No, the, the, the words of God cannot be changed. That's why God is telling me do not talk like that. Because when God said it, it that, that, that it is. It is that. It will not change. It will happen. And so, I rebuilt to you the plan. Glory to the Most High God, the Father, the Creator of everything. The one true God. The Father written in, in the Holy Bible, God the Creator. And Allah in Arabic. And glory to His Son, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.